Troy. When I think of our love story and how it all started, I'm teleported back to our first date. When I got to know you, it was as though everything I had ever lost was found in that moment. I can still feel the end of summer warmth as we sat on that bench in Liberty Center and discussed everything from philosophy, religion, life goals, hopes and fears. Even though we had different perspectives on the world, you fascinated me with your passion for life and creativity. There was a certain freedom you possessed that showed me from the very start that you walked to your own beat. I can't remember how many actual hours we spent together on that first date, but I knew I had fallen for you. Catching myself daydreaming of a possible future together in class that following week, I knew I had fallen hard. Natalie, as I sat down to write you this, there's only one question that raced through my head, and that is, where has the time gone? It feels only like yesterday that I was taking you to dinner on our first date, or to the zoo on our second, or making short films with you in college, or sitting down to breakfast with you after class, sipping coffee together. Time feels like it has just flown by. And now, three years later, here we are about to get married. It has been a beautiful journey beside you, and every moment with you has been nothing short of amazing. And today we take our first step into a new chapter of our lives as husband and wife. Growing up, Natalie and I did just about everything together. And through the years, Natalie became more than just a close friend. She became the sister I never had. And I have a sister. <laughs> Natalie's got confidence. She, she is a force to be reckoned with in any room she walks into. It's not just her beauty or her freakishly perfect posture. The way Natalie carries and asserts herself is truly inspiring. Natalie's got drive. Moving to Cincinnati five years ago and becoming the amazing work professional that she is now. She's accomplished so much and I look forward to seeing her fulfill all of her dreams. know Troy, you'll notice his contagious curiosity for life, his sincerity and ability to make you feel like you're the most important person in the room. But if you know Troy like I do, you see a whole lot more than that meets the surface. Troy is fiercely loyal to his friends and family. He's never critical of others' interests or passions. And he resonates with people by the way they treat those who can do nothing for them, which in my mind is the ultimate test of character. Troy, you've been the best, bigger brother I could ever ask for. You set expectations for me I never set for myself, and I would not be the man I am today without you. I love you with all my heart, and I would not be here without you, man. So without further delay, and my tears, let's toast to the happy couple. May this beautiful beginning be to many wonderful years. Cheers. So let this day underscore the importance and preeminence of love. As we together collectively witness Troy and Natalie exchanging their wedding vows and pledging their lives to one another. When I think of our love story to come, I see a beautiful future. As I walk down the aisle to join the love of my life and holy matrimony, never forget that I will be there for you 
when the rain starts to fall. I'll be there for you like I've been there before. I'll be there for you because you're there for me too. You are my heart. You are my best friend. You are the love of my life. You are my everything. And I'm yours entirely. I cannot wait to see you and for you to soon be my wife. I love you with all my heart and more than you know. Troy. Troy, take me, Natalie, to be my wedded wife. I, Natalie, take me, Troy, to be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereto, I pledge thee my faith. I first heard about Troy on one of our weekly update phone calls. Natalie was living alone and she was looking into adopting a dog. So she calls one day and says, I have news. Naturally, I thought she had found a dog. <laughs> but it was much better. Natalie had found a Troy. <laughs> As I got to know Troy and Natalie with Troy, I realized this was the best version of Natalie I had ever known. Troy, thank you for loving Natalie the way she deserves. You two are truly a perfect example of unconditional love. Troy, you are so much better than a dog. <laughs> I'll never forget when Troy told me he was going to marry Natalie. We were on a cruise sailing across the Baltic Sea on a family vacation. I boldly asked him, why do you want to marry Natalie? Why now? Um, what would that change? Troy looked me in the eye with more conviction than I'd ever seen. And his words were, I want to show Natalie my commitment to her and to us. This is it for me. My search is over. I love her and I always will. I'd like you all to raise your glass to my son and his beautiful, gorgeous wife and wish them forever happiness. I just want to start by thanking all of you guys for putting your favorite garment on and showing up tonight for our beautiful uh, Natalie and Troy Smith. Tonight is it's a beautiful night. It's a special night for me. Natalie is my heart. I just want to take care of her.
I hereby pronounce that they are husband and wife together. Troy, you may now kiss your bride. Marriage is not the end of the search for love. It's the end of the search for the person to love. The search for ways to love each other has just begun. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Troy Smith. Mm -hmm. 